There is a mountain shaped like the reach of a woman's back. Do you see? Yeah. Head for it. The highway north is just beyond. Okay. Nick has dared death throughout most of his life, and this is the ultimate opportunity. And he wants to find other people like Celia. He wants to find other people, other places where the dead are not seen as monsters. And what I love about this episode is as he ventures off on this journey, he's excited by it. In 208, Nick is trying to find some kind of understanding beyond just the physical fact that the dead are up and walking. Like, what's really happening here? What we start to see in the back half of the season is a conflation of some of our characters' pasts. We see these flashbacks and get a better understanding of who Nick is. Good luck. All will be well in the garden. And the crucial element in these flashbacks is what he lost, and that was his father. Nick, you and your mom are gonna meet in private for a minute, okay? We get the scene where Nick learns this. No, Dad? It gave this window into these characters' lives. And it's a moment that changes these characters forever. <laughs> you didn't make it, baby. <laughs> Nick's carrying a lot of his own ghosts, and he's carrying a lot of anger and a need to understand, because he doesn't understand why his father was so disconnected from him when he died. No! His lack of a relationship with his father is interesting. He misses that figure in his life. I'm so sorry. He's become lost in the desert, worried that he's gonna die. He's attacked by dogs. Things aren't looking great because these dogs are jumping up. And then he sees these sombras coming in the distance, and it's like he just prayed to God in that moment for some kind of help, and God sent the dead to help him. So I think that from then on, his relationship with them goes even a little bit deeper. Nick is basically walking with his brothers, and there's a certain comfort for him in that. In this episode, he pushes everything to the limit. It's really a test to a large extent. And he has his final flashback, where we see him with Gloria in the shooting gallery on the eve of Gloria's death. Is it good? My dad gave it to me. They were very much in love, and she really understood him in a way that his parents couldn't. He gave you a lot of books. Uh, this is way connecting. He has a great sense of guilt because he was the one that gave Gloria her last shot. The rain, for him, it's the moment when he realizes, I'm right, I can't die because if I didn't die on this journey, I'm not going to. It invigorates him in a way with this attitude of, I have to have a purpose, there's gotta be a reason why I'm still here. He's been surrounded by death for the past few weeks and everyone is responding to that in a very apocalyptic way. We're gonna fight, we're going to kill. He arrives in a community where there is life and there is vibrancy, but people are not afraid of the dead, people do not see them as monsters and it gives him a platform, I think, by which he can continue this journey that he's on. Fear the Walking Dead. Los lunes, un nuevo episodio en AMC.